Well, I left Kentucky back in 49. <laughs> Hello, I'm Michael Lombardo, and this is Tyler Stevenson, and we're ready to do another Test Drive Tuesday here at Ideal Classic Cars. Uh, today we have something special for you. It's a 1959 Cadillac. Uh, beautiful car. Uh, again, for those of you that don't know Cadillacs very well, uh, the most iconic year is a 59 due to the fins on the back, which we're going to have to show you right now if you take a walk out this way with us. Come on, Mike. As you can see with the 59 Cadillac, they're the only year that had these real tall fins and the, and the uh, double bullet tail lights. Uh, as you can see, the, the car has more chrome and stainless than you can imagine. Uh, this particular car is referred to as a flat top. Kind of interesting, the top will come back and, and shoot off the back like a little bit of a visor, help protect the uh, passengers in the back. Um, let alone the, the fact that this car is, uh, what is it, about 19 foot long, I think it is? It's uh, 19 and a half feet long. There you go, Tyler. Tyler. So just enough to fit in your standard garage. There you go. You just can in case sweep. everybody's wondering, you want to take it home. It'll fit. <laughs> Hopefully. Hopefully. There you go. You know, we're going to do something a little different again today. We're going to take Mike with us and let him ride in the back. It's such a big luxury car. We figure we could fit about 25 people in here, and Mike's going to be one of them. And we're not going to put him in the trunk this time. All right, Mike. Hop in. Well, we'll see how the ride goes. <laughs> he does a good job. <laughs> Nothing like a classic Cadillac, is there? No, there All right, Tyler. Let's see if this baby... Oh, listen Fires there. Fires right up. This particular car has uh, 70,000 miles showing on it, and uh, it's believed to be correct. Um, yeah, more of a survivor car. Most of the cars you've been seeing, um, you know, have been restored cars, and that's not the case. Um, more of an honest original car. Yeah, they, they, we even believe the paint to be uh, original on this car. Thin in a couple little spots, but uh, overall, I mean, just beautiful and shiny as you could probably see. But, uh, you know, again, uh, it's kind of neat to have what we call a survivor car that just happens to be all uh, all original and appear to have all its uh, correct structures. Uh, horn rings on these things are, are pretty rare to have a full horn ring. Usually half of it's broken off, if not all of it. Uh, this particular car, uh, if, if you want to give them all the stats on it, Tyler, you can give them uh, engine trans and all that. Yeah, this car uh, it's powered by a 390 cubic inch big block V8. Uh, you know, which is a lot, a lot bigger than most of the cars had in, in that era. Um, that's made it to a hydromatic automatic transmission. Now in the 50s, most of the cars were, were still manual transmissions until you got into your luxury cars. Um, you know, standard equipment was power steering, power brakes. So, you know, you did get a lot more uh, with your car than than. A lot of their competitors but this particular car does have power seats it's got power windows so a lot of more modern conveniences it does have a uh, climate control am radio just uh you know pretty well loaded up probably my favorite thing about it is the color combination it just screams the 50s this kind of daphne blue color um, you know the darker blue interior i just think it's a, a killer look really nice run and driving car something you can actually take out and use you know oh it is it is that uh you know again drives like a dream uh, they put radials on them uh, just so they can. Uh, this one have radials or do they have I bias flies? Uh, I believe this car still has bias flies. Oh wow! And it runs and rides. It's nice. That's awesome. Yeah. Good old uh, wide whites. Uh, uh, yeah, you love that. Like the look, and oh, I love it. That late fifties look with the wide whites on these. Very classic. And again, it seems like everything functions like it should. The temperature gauge is working. The gas gauge is working. The uh, speedometer, speedometer is working. Is working. Um, awesome. Uh, you know, just an awesome, nice, sorted out. Uh, original survivor type car. What I like about it is it's something that you can throw the family in and, and, and take out and, and enjoy with everybody. You know, a lot of the more classic cars, obviously I'm, I'm a Corvette nut, but you just don't get the, the room. You could take the whole family out to dinner, go out to see a movie or something, go to the beach for the day. It's a Well, you could take us to car. a drive-in. Yeah, you could. Remember the days you used to go to the <laughs> drive-in? You could fit about 50 people in the trunk of this car. Oh, yeah. Of course, I'm Italian. I'm originally from New Jersey, so... You know, you can fit about 50 people, small people, when they were little, but uh, big people, guys we used to hunt down, <laughs> five or six of those bodies would fit in the back. I'm not saying that we ever did that. Allegedly. You know they can't prove it, boss. <laughs> I think we have a statute of limitations anyway. Uh, I love the fact that it has power brakes and power steering. It is quite the cruiser. 
And they also refer to these as well as a flat top as a four window, if I'm not mistaken, because they had a, a more rounded bubble top look uh, that you could also get in a 59 sedan DeVille. But the wraparound rear window that this car has, you didn't get that. You got little kind of wing windows in the back as well. Um, so it's made a little more desirable body style, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, wow. Let's get a bit more information. And again, like you said, the, the color really sets it off. You know, the light blue with the white top and the the two-tone interior just really just got that done. surfer vibe to it too a little bit you know yeah. here's some beach boys playing i could definitely see that definitely a cool car boy it, it really does ride really really nice it's a beautiful day again you guys are probably sick of hearing that from us but <laughs> we love where we live yeah we love what we do it's all about the cars it is it's all about the cars Speaking of which, uh, Tyler's gone out house hunting. If any of you people out there happen to know of a house for Tyler, he could use one of them. I sure could. He's uh, moving closer to the dealership. Loves what he does. Just can't wait to be here. Of course, we're going to have him working 24 7. We we're just going to put a cot in the back, but <laughs> he's electing. Uh, the missus wasn't too happy about that. The missus wants a new house. So. Tyler's getting a new home. You know what they say Mom ain't happy, nobody's happy. <laughs> Really nice. Absolutely, and if you have any questions about the Cadillac, feel free to, to give us a call at 941-966-1900. We'd be happy to explain this car in detail or any of the, the 90 or so cars that we have in inventory. Um, you can visit us online at www.idealclassiccars.net. There's a full description and photo shoot of this car as well as the, the rest of the cars in our inventory. Um, you can send us an email to idealclassiccars at gmail.com. If you have any questions, we can also respond that way. Uh, we're on all the regular social media avenues We're on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Um, I believe uh, Twitter is at Buy Your Dream Car, and the, the other two are Ideal Classic Cars. So, you know, plenty of avenues to, to try to get in touch with us if you have any interest. You know, if you're in the area, we're in beautiful Venice, Florida. You can visit us at 2224 Tamiami Trail South in Venice, Florida. Uh, you know, not too far from Orlando if anybody's coming down to, to Disney World over the uh, winter. Yeah, yeah. Just a little less, little less than two hours, about an hour and 45 minutes, hour I think. 45 and... minutes from there. You know, we're not far from Tampa, Sarasota, uh, Fort Myers, Naples. So if you're going to be in Florida at all, I mean, even Miami, Fort Lauderdale, we're only about three hours away. Um, and even if you don't want to buy a car, if you just want to come and look, our museum is free of charge as our way of giving back to the community. So you can come and, and talk cars and look around and, and reminisce. And, a lot of people like to do that. Yeah, we love to do it too. We love to do it too, absolutely. Hey Tyler, I just noticed this here has a particular uh, Cadillac, has c cruise control, which cruise is control. kind of uh, different. You actually pull to cruise, and then you, I guess you dial it up or dial it down. That's kind of uh, really neat. It is a, a really cool feature. They definitely didn't have that in most of their vehicles in 1959. No. Nope. But yeah, definitely the year to own a, a Cadillac. Oh, the iconic fins alone. 1960 Cadillac is very similar, but you lose the, the appeal of the fins, and I mean, they're drastically less money and just not anywhere near as desirable. Uh, 59 is, is the year that does it for everybody. So if you'd like to own this 59, please give us a call. Absolutely. And, and tell them what this car is uh, priced at, Tyler. I believe it's uh, sale priced at 39.9. This car is correct? sale priced at 39.9, so excellent deal. Uh, you know. It's a little budget friendly uh, than a lot of the other vehicles we have been driving. It's something that, you know, like I said, you can get in and use. Uh, you know, it being a survivor condition, you're not going to worry about every little nick or if somebody gets into the dirty shoes. Um, yeah, it's easily cleaned. And easily cleaned and, and, you know, it's it's not an over restored car. It's something you can actually use. Well, I love it. I definitely wouldn't mind uh, using it. As a matter of fact, maybe this weekend, Tyler, we'll get the families out. Of course, we can yeah. fit about three or four of them in here. Yeah. And just rides, boy, when, this is where the expression came from, rides like a Cadillac, because it certainly does. It just has that floating feeling to it, like you're riding on a cloud. It's just absolutely beautiful. Well, again, we look forward to uh, doing another test drive Tuesday. Uh, we're gonna grab something else and uh, probably give you another ride around today and, and check something else out. But for those of you who love the uh, caddies, this is it. This is the caddy daddy of all caddies, so. 
don't hesitate to give us a holler if you'd like to make this fine automobile yours or come down and see it in person. Nicely done, Mike. I think, uh, I think this is awesome. I think we got to take Mike on all these test drive Tuesdays. You know, it's kind of nice. Yeah, he contributed a lot. Yeah, you know, he had a lot of verbiage in there. <laughs> I had a lot to say back lot, here. Lot to well. say back. Very comfortable. But once again, we thank you for taking the time out of your busy day to, to give us a watch, and uh, we'll see you next time. See you next Tuesday. Cool car. Me an engine and a trunk, then I got me a transmission and all the chrome. The little things I could get in my big lunch box, like nuts and bolts and all four shocks, but the big stuff we snuck out my buddy's mobile home. <laughs>